Hello, this is Duke Dudley here, representing Smooth Industries. Welcome back to Domo. This is my Terra Firma Craft single player let's play. And uh, thank you for viewing this once again. Today we're going to be building up the forge. I have finally dug up the rest of the uh, charcoal. That's not too bad, actually, for as much as I got. And, uh, this is gonna be my forge. Now, uh, um, whew, excuse me. I felt the burp coming on. Um, yeah, whenever you, uh, make this, you're gonna want to, uh, whenever you make the, uh, forge, um, fun fact about charcoal, you can place it by a shift, by a shift clicking, and, uh, what do you want to do, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I believe, yep, and then light it with a fire, and, gooey! Now, uh, the key to the forge is this air path. You see how it's a big multi-block structure. Well, right there is an empty air block. And I have an entire tunnel going up and out facing the sky. Now, it's important to have that because you're going to need it for the... Um, you're just going to need it to make it more effective. Now, what I'm burning up here is, again, the ha. The, uh, the copper, uh, pots. Let's see. All right. All right. I'm really hoping I can, uh, get these in. Ooh, shoot. Gimme, give gimme. Give Alright. Oh lord, where's my shovel? Okay. Alright. Let me get out of here into the forge. Now, uh, I don't think you guys have seen the fire pit, but... Okay. Now, what this will do is keep things warm on this bar. And here, I am hoping this works. It will uh, allow you to. Oh shoot! <laughs> Whoops. Okay. It will. That's where it'll uh, keep the stuff cooking. Now. So far, that's staying. This will keep it, uh, warm. I'm actually wanting to do... Okay. Hmm. Alright. Uh, excuse me. Alright. Now I want to get all the, uh, ingots out. Like, as fast as possible. Gimme, gimme. Ooh, get it turned around. Okay. Let's see. I should have more in here. I was hoping that that would just do, but I guess not. Okay. I'm getting the chisel so I can uh, start harvesting stone. That way I can probably purify the forge. So I can make 13 more ingots with this. Man, that is insane, huh? Okay. Okay. Boom. Okay. Now I 
light. And yeah, the uh, colors there will tell you the temperature. And root. Okay. Alright, now the ultimate test. Oh my gosh, it's staying liquid. That is awesome. Okay. Now, I should be able to, uh, Hmm. I'll be right back. I'll, uh, I need to check the wiki on how to extract the bars. Okay, so the wiki says that I should be able to just put it in a crafting grid, and it'll come out, it'll just come out cold. But, uh, set it at any temperature, you can do it. So, okay. All the should be done. Um, do I need a hammer? No? Okay. Huh. Yellow white. <clears throat> well, that's just weird. Guess I'm gonna have to wait for them to cool off. And speaking of cooling off. Doth you? Oh, that is a godsend. <laughs> that really is. Oh, sweet. And I can put fuel there. But I don't think I want to. Oh, that is awesome. And from now on, I'm going to be using this as a, uh, a means of getting my copper out. So, uh... Yeah, probably, pretty much a uh, short little update episode, but I wanted to show you guys the forge because I felt so bad for uh, leaving out the mining. I wanted to uh, show you guys how, it, at least how to make the forge, and um, I even made a little cross here. Thank you for everything. <laughs> and ooh, creepy music. Yeesh, Harry gets old. <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah, in the near future, I would hope to start, uh. Ooh, boy, can I get up? Yep. Oh, yeah, my, uh, chisel. Where'd I put it? There it is. Chisel head, where my sticks go? There they are. Uh, I'll keep the rest of them. But no, this uh, mace has been amazing. I uh, I've been um, just getting all kinds of zombies around me, and I finally just made the mace, and I was able to combat them or confront them, conflict them, something of the sort. So uh, is. Stair, half slab, block, that. Woohoo! Now, what, uh, I'm changing the mode, and you have to have a chisel and your hammer on your heart bar. And what you'll get out of this is smooth uh, basalt or whatever kind of rock you have on hand. And these will act as a. Regular vanilla Minecraft blocks. They won't obey. They will stay floating if you uh hit them, and all kinds of good stuff. So I'm just gonna purify the uh, forge up a bit. Mm. Oh man, I need to take that uh, cobblestone off first. <gasps> oh, whew. Okay, so I can walk on top of this? Oh, that's cool. Huh, I was thinking you could just, uh... You couldn't do that. Go figure. 
Ooh, and I'm wondering. No. Dang. Okay. <laughs> Had to try. Uh, can I place something on top of it? Oh, shoot. Not cool. Not cool. Get off it. Get off it. Get off it. No, because uh, the importance of this airway is so that it actually stays uh, so that it stays functioning. Ooh, my mouse sensitivity. Let's see. A little bit less. There we go. Probably won't get turned around as much. Ooh, I just need to be mindful of that. So yeah. Uh, let's see. There we go. Oh yeah, it's not the same temperature, so it needs to be thing. Oh my gosh. Are all the molds... Oh no, they're going in my inventory. Okay, phew! Thank goodness. Alright. So, uh... Yeah, thank you guys for joining me for this small little update episode. So, uh... Until we meet again, I should be sitting here with my 30 uncooked calamari still. <laughs> Get that. Alright, see you guys later.